Hi there, it's Kathy from Kathy's Quilts. I just finished machine quilting the word patience and it's taken me a lot of patience to get these thread ends stitched in so I thought I might show you how I do that. So uh, this I'm going to work on this one here and the first thing I want to do is make sure that the threads are about the same length. The light green is a little bit shorter than the blue. I'll just trim that up. That's the first thing I'll do. Where's my scissors? Okay, just trim off that blue a little bit. Now I'm going to try and thread my needle without my needle threader. See how well my eyesight is. That declines as the day goes on. Look at that first try. Okay, there I am ready to sew it in. And so what I do is I wrap the needle, wrap the thread around the needle twice. So once, twice, and then I pull the needle through and there's my loop. And I want to get that loop to be about a quarter of an inch away from the quilt top. That's pretty good. There's the knot right there. So now I'm going to put my hand under the quilt and hopefully not knock over the camera. And I'm going to put the needle back in where those threads are coming out of, right there. I'm not going to put it under the white because I don't want the blue threads to show under the white fabric. I'm going to put it under the blue and pull it a little bit more than a quarter of an inch away and listen for the pop. Hmm. That was not satisfying. Uh, that's okay, I'll try again. Here I go. And once, twice around the needle. There's my knot, there's the loop forming. Bring that down to about a quarter of an inch. Put my hand under the quilt, which is to make sure that the needle doesn't come through the backing fabric. I want it to be into the batting. Yep, that feels good. Pull it away. Oh, look at that. My thread came right out of the needle. Anyways, it went through so I'll just pull that and listen for the pop. Ah, that was much better. Okay, now the first pop did not go very well. So what I'm gonna do is come back with my Micron pen. Do you have these permanent markers? And this is a blue one because my fabric is blue. I keep it handy just in case there's any white thread or batting showing through there where the hole is. And I just color on that with my permanent marker in blue to cover up any possible white hole showing there. And that's how I do it for each one.